you and I managed to do something that's quite extraordinary because we, MPEC is a safe learning culture based company. Um, and, and we did it somehow. And I wonder whether you can tell me from, from where you're standing, how, how did we do that? Uh, it's, it's, I, it, some of it may be due to personality, some sure. of it, but a large part of it is due to accepting that, you know, people make mistakes. Um, sure. So uh, I, I have never, ever asked for perfection because I believe perfection is unattainable and achievable. So knowing that, what I ask for instead is is openness, honesty. So you know, I mean, in in part of our interview process is is always to tell candidates that we know you're going to make a mistake, and we're fine with that because we make mistakes too. The most important thing is to raise the issue as quickly as possible, because this way we can resolve it, hmm. and we can we can learn from it. And I think this is the first thing that people are a little bit surprised by that the <laughs> fact that we're telling them we know you're going to make a mistake he said what this is the interview i said yeah i know but it's it's part of life mistakes happen mm -hmm. so all we need is to be told about them so that we can manage them um i mean there are different degrees of mistakes on a mistake that happens once fix it move on doesn't happen again a mistake that happens on a number of occasions due to the same issue well then that's our fault you know the first time could be a hole in the process could be technology that wasn't working correctly who knows if we repeat the same mistake then it's probably the leader's fault in my humble opinion because i mean you know leaders are not different schools of thought dictators mm -hmm. they don't stand up and shout at people and tell them what to do are you telling me now that no come okay. on Suzanne you know that we we have we have a very different approach in MPEC I mean we work for our team yeah. so I mean we're the leaders but we work for them so we need to make sure that they have everything they need to do their jobs and if they're making a mistake and we know about it the first time because they tell us and that's a great mm -hmm. thing and then we don't work to help them eliminate that well then that, that's our fault right that's I mean, our so fault. yeah this this is um this is what i think everybody needs to know that i mean if you hide a mistake you can't resolve it you can't fix it and it's definitely going to happen again if instead you open it and everybody sees that there's no dictator approach saying you're an idiot you but there's a constructive facilitator approach saying fantastic we know about this now what can we do to eliminate it people are more likely to to open to be open and, and talk about their mistakes and this way the company is just going to improve and improve i don't know if you agree with me i do i know you agree with me because i mean mm -hmm. no I, I of course i do because at, at the end of the day the way impact as an organization manages their our mistakes is um is a combination of of what you and i imagine leadership to be right 